Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing wonderful. This is kind of like an impromptu video. I just wanted to come and talk quickly about my moles. And thank you guys for so many compliments. A lot of people think that they're freckles, but they're not, they're moles. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about them because I've had a lot of questions about whether or not I would ever consider removing them. And that's not something I've ever thought about before, up until recently, and I'll explain why. So I have different kinds of moles on my face. I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know very much about skin and skin condition. So I can't give you like a scientific breakdown of what the moles are and what the moles mean. But I do have different kinds of moles on my face. I did not always have moles. They started coming in when I was probably around 17. I would start to get a few here and there, and then as time went on, I didn't even notice. I just started getting more and more and more and more. So I'm here bare face so you can see exactly what the moles look like. Excuse the grease, because I like my face to be very simple. The biggest mole I have on my face is this one right here. It's right above my lip. It looks like a beauty mark, or some people call it a beauty mark. I believe that's what it's called because of where it is, but it is a mole, and it's actually my favorite mole. When I wear makeup, when I wear foundation, my foundation does cover the mole, and it looks like just a little bump on my face, so I do have to usually use like a black eyeliner and just draw it over the actual mole. So that's the biggest mole I have, but I also do have two other moles that are big, and this mole lays nice and flat, but I have other moles that don't lay flat that are kind of sticking out and they have started to cause issues for me as far as like my hair sometimes my hair will get stuck if i'm wearing hair that is on my face and i try to brush it away sometimes the hair does get caught on it you can see right here that it kind of just rises up and sticks up and these are the kind of moles that a lot of people tend to be irritated the most by because they do get hooked onto things and i also have this one this one does rise up a tiny bit not as much as the other one and then i have these flat moles these really tiny flat moles that people think are freckles usually on my face because of where they are and now i've realized that i've been getting a lot of little tiny moles popping up all over my face i realized that a big part of the reason that the moles were coming in was because of the fact that i was not wearing sunscreen my car windows also aren't tinted so when I'm driving, the sun is directly hitting my face. So once I realized that, I did start wearing sunscreen and that's helped a lot. However, at this point and why I'm making this video is because I am going to go through the process of getting rid of my moles. I don't wanna get rid of all of them, so I won't be getting rid of the one right here and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna get rid of the ones that look like freckles, but the ones that are sticking out and bothering me and the one that's right here on my nose, I don't know if it would be considered peripheral vision, but when I'm looking straight, I can see the mole right here. So it's in my vision and I just don't want them on my face. A lot of times when I wear foundation, you can't see my moles, but it can look like these little bumps underneath my face and it looks like maybe I've broken out or something. And sometimes with foundation, it shows right through and I love that because when I wear foundation, I don't like to cover my moles, but that's more so cosmetic. As far as it getting in my way, that's more of the biggest issue for me and I just wanna be able to find ways to prevent more from coming. Now for me, moles are genetic. They run in my family. My my aunts have them. It's not, it's not something where I'm just completely wondering why I have moles on my face. I can look around my family and see why. And I think they're really cute. I think that they add a lot of personality to the faces of the family members who do have them. I think it's a cute thing, but I can see it getting a little bit overwhelming sometimes when they just kind of start to just take over your face. And that's something I don't want. There are different methods for being able to remove your moles. There are some people who go through laser treatments. Um, there are some people who go through surgery or use chemicals to get rid of their moles. And then I know some people use these like other remedies. I've seen people use banana peels. I've heard of people using apple cider vinegar. And there's also a number of essential oils that can help with mole removals. Now, I haven't tried any of these things. But I am considering for the really big ones on the sides of my face, attempting to remove them myself by using oils. Now, when I've done all the research that I can possibly do, like online and talking with people, they recommended frankincense oil, oregano, Jamaican black castor oil, and olive oil. Some people say putting a couple drops on it every day for about a month, 
works or even putting a little bit on a cotton ball and then putting a band-aid or tape on your face and keeping it there overnight and taking it off in the morning i'm a little nervous about doing anything to my face truly because i mean my face is the first thing that a person sees it's the first thing that i see and if something is going on with my face it's going to be a problem for me so the last thing i would ever want to do is ruin my face in some kind of way because i don't know what i'm doing that's why if i do choose to use a home remedy i'm gonna use a non-abrasive essential oil when we talk essential oils they usually do need to be mixed with something some kind of carrier oil essential oils are the oils like oregano like lavender like tea tree oil and frankincense oil those are very potent oils and they need to be mixed with carrier oils like olive oil coconut oil castor oil so that's the only thing that i think i would try i may even try the banana peel because that seems like it's pretty much harmless but apple cider vinegar is extremely strong and i have already had an experience where i created my own toner using apple cider vinegar and i burned my face right here and you can still kind of see it that the skin looks a little rougher and almost like a tiny rash because it was a few months ago and it's still healing so i am not messing with apple cider vinegar on my face however the other oils like olive oil i don't mind putting on the two spots and just seeing if it works so i wanted to come and share that with you guys because if i do have success with it and i don't end up with like a crazy dark spot or anything like that then i will come and share it with you guys what i did and even if it doesn't end up working out well if i try something and it's not effective for me i will come back and i'll share it with you guys so you guys know as far as going like a dermatologist and having them remove it that's also something i'm considering i need to do more research and figure out do they come back i also don't necessarily care for pain so i don't know how much it hurts from what i've been told it kind of feels like a pinch or like a like a poke it hurts a little bit but i don't know i still need to think about it because it could dramatically change the way my face looks i like my moles so we'll see but i wanted to come and share it with you guys in case any of you guys have moles or have had your moles removed especially if you've done it through like an alternative remedy i'm just curious to know what that was like for you what worked what didn't work and maybe some of the side effects because people sometimes don't talk about what happens like oh yeah it came off but then i had this nasty black thing on my face for a whole year so i'm hoping for some transparency uh, just to be able to get an idea of what to expect so yeah that's about it just wanted to come and chat with you guys for a little bit hope you guys are all doing well if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by and if you don't have any questions then i will see you guys in the next video big kisses Mwah. peace love